rights conference in Detroit fueling feminist outrage, even comparing the gathering to hosting a hate group. So are the angry feminists proving they're waging a war on men by being so intolerant? Joining us now is Suzanne Venker, author of The War on Men. Suzanne, nice to see you, as always, on the show. Thanks for having me. All right, so what do you make of these feminists, these professional feminists, as Tucker calls them, outraged <laughs> over these gr this group of men getting together to talk about the things like finances? In fact, at this event, they had female speakers and all sorts of different races. Oh, it was undoubtedly the most diverse group that I have ever been among at one time. It was fantastic. Um, males, like you said, males, females, black, white, liberals, conservatives, um, atheists, Christians. I mean, all united for one very specific reason, and that's to talk about the needs of boys and men, which are terribly um, underrepresented today. Underrepresented today. So it's almost comical to think about the the lashing out that feminists did because the actual conference couldn't have been more opposite of what they claimed. And you can actually watch the conference yourself if you want um, online. They have it available so anybody could go in there and see for themselves what the conference was all about, which I actually highly recommend people do because it was just a wealth of information by some fabulous folks. Suzanne, why are they acting out then if that's the case? Okay, so the, the biggest um, divide between what's called the MRAs, the men's rights activists, and feminists, feminist activism is really very simple, and that is that feminists blame all social ills, all the problems that we have really, especially regarding marriage and the family, um, education, jobs, and the like, um, on the patriarchy. You know, whenever something goes wrong, it's the man's fault, and it's the, it's the system, and it's all messed up. When men's rights activists come together to truly address these problems, all they're interested in is just solving the problem. And these people that were on the panel at this press conference the other day um, are in the trenches in various um, uh, arenas, and they are doing great work to solve problems completely irrespective of ideology. So if you're married to an ideology that says the you know, patriarchy is, is real and that women are always the victims and you never are able to look at women in any kind of critical way right. and admit that they can do wrong too, you can't solve these problems regarding boys and men. Well, and also, Suzanne, it's a whitewashing of gender. I got slammed here when I mentioned on the show a few months ago that actually genders are different. Some liberal blogs wrote about me saying that. How outrageous that there are differences between men and women, biological differences right. that we should be embracing, not yeah. trying to whitewash, and that's what these feminists want to do. Those are the two things, the, the, um, the, the, they're stating that there's no differences between women and men and the fact that the patriarchy is alive and well and, you know, out to get you, so to speak. And we have to, in order to achieve equality, you know, re redo our entire system. So the, the point is, anytime try, someone tries to speak out and address the real issues that involve, that revolve around the male-female relationship, marriage, family, um, domestic violence, by the way, goes both ways. The, people don't know that because feminists own the dialogue when it comes to these topics. The assumption is that women are always victims and men are the perpetrators. That is absolutely statistically false. And that's what this con just one example of what this conference shows. Hmm. Where, can people, uh, where can people go and watch that conference, by the way? Is it posted online somewhere? So if, yeah, so if they go to, the, the conference was put on by A Voice for Men, and they've become pretty much the dominant men's group globally. And we had people there from Australia, by the way, the UK, um, hmm. from Maine to California to the South. Um, and it's called A Voice for Men. So if you go to avoiceformen.com, everything's there and you'll find it. And um, you can make up your own mind what you think about um, men's rights and what's going on here because we feel that it was a very pivotal event and it's Great. just beginning and it's not going to go away. All right, we Suzanne. report you decide. Thanks so much, Suzanne. Thanks, Suzanne.